my name is Emily and I'd like to tell you a bit about a project which I really hope that you'll be interested in and want to support. If you're interested, like me, in music from earlier periods in history, before the advent of the recording industry, you might have wondered at some point what it really sounded like and whether the way that we play it really is anything like the way that it would have sounded when the composer first heard it. In fact, there were ways to record music way back and in the 18th century, these took off in a big way. Some of the most popular pieces of the day have been preserved, including their performance style, in the barrels and pins and pipes of mechanised musical instruments made over 200 years ago. I've been researching these instruments for the last 10 years, uh, inspired and encouraged by a few pioneering musicians and writers who've recognised that these instruments provide a really important historical source, which is sometimes quite radical. During the 18th century, there was a fascination across Europe with the mechanised replication of real life. Automata were invented, which imitated animals, birds, including a duck, which appeared to eat and actually digest food, uh, and people, such as a flautist, which actually played a real flute. These were admired, and sometimes feared, for their lifelike qualities, and the makers of mechanical instruments were lauded for producing instruments, I quote, with so much delicacy and taste as to convey a warm idea of the impression which the hand gives on the instrument. It's a really beautiful quote, I think, and it comes from William Cox, who was the stepson of Handel's emanuensis, J.C. Smith. This project is called The Ghost in the Machine, uh, and it brings back to life the effervescent style of playing found in these fascinating and really sophisticated machines. The music really does fizz with decorations and embellishments way beyond what we're used to hearing. Pieces you thought you knew really well suddenly show themselves in this totally new light uh, and some, which might not have been initially that interesting, uh, perhaps now sound really exciting and they sparkle in a way that they never did before. To make this recording, I've assembled an absolute dream team of musicians, all of which are specialists in the music of the 18th century and its performance practice, but who are also really versatile and flexible and are used to playing in lots of different styles. We've already been awarded some really generous funding by the wonderful and very aptly named Angel Early Music and also a Handel Institute Research Award, which we're really grateful for. We're also really excited that First Hand Records will be releasing the album when it's finished. And this means we can actually go ahead. We can definitely go ahead with recording this album, which is wonderful to know in these uncertain times for the arts. However, we need your help to cover the costs of production. We need to raise another £2,500 by the end of August to ensure that we can pay everyone involved properly, which I'm sure you'll agree at the moment is really important, even more so than usual. We're also hoping for some match funding uh, from other sources to cover the costs of editing and venues and instrument hire, etc. Um, and also CD production. So raising this money in this way with some crowdfunding will really help us to achieve that. We have some fascinating perks available, so please do have a look and select something that suits your budget and your interest in being involved in this project. If you can't donate, we completely understand. These are really difficult times and lots of people are really struggling for money at the moment. But please, please share. If you can possibly share this on your social media, we'd be so grateful. You never know who might see it and whose interest it might spark. Thanks very much.